Welcome back to Tain Slade Info. It's a good news for Lockheed Martin, who was developing the joint air-to-ground missile, which will ultimately replace the Hellfire missile on all platforms. Yes, to be more precise, the United States Army and Marine Corps have declared the joint air-to-ground missile ready for full-rate production. According to the statement which was released by Lockheed Martin, the production clearance milestone of this particular missile marks the successful completion of operational testing of joint air-to-ground missile on the United States Army's Apache AH-64E and Marine Corps AH-1Z Viper helicopters. Initially, several failures were experienced during live fire testing from AH-64E Apache attack helicopters. One of the failures was noted when the missile missed two targets and another one to mention is during a major test event, one of the four launchers with a live warhead failed to detonate. Anyhow, the good thing is that the Army was able to resolve those problems in subsequent testing and evaluation, and this missile which features a new dual-mode seeker and guidance system mated to a Hellfire missile is cleared for production. The AGM-179 Joint Air-to-Ground Missile will be replacing the current air-launched BGM-71TOW, AGM-114 Hellfire and AGM-65 Maverick missiles which are operated by United States Army, Navy and Marine Corps. Lockheed is also working on extending the joint air-to-ground missiles range to 16 km and this would double the missile's current range without changing its length or diameter. These missiles are very vital for the forces since it delivers the joint services a single air-to-ground missile with improved lethality, operational flexibility and a reduced logistics footprint. These missiles are capable of destroying high-value stationary, moving and relocatable land and naval targets. These targets can be destroyed from standoff range day or night and in adverse weather conditions. A multi-purpose warhead provides lethal effects against a range of target types from armored vehicles, thin-skinned vehicles and maritime patrol craft to urban structures and field fortifications. So that was a video to provide the latest happenings with the Lockheed Martin's joint air-to-ground missile. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tainslade Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.